Hi, yeah. it's Karen. And Tim. From Stepping on the Back Porch, welcome to another episode of Thursday's Facebook Live with and, Karen and Tim. And Holly. And Mary. And Holly and Mary are both here in the background. We so have an here. audience. <laughs> Friendly audience. I was just Friendly saying a half audience. hour ago, is this our first Facebook Live since after the cruise? It feels like it was so long ago that we were on the cruise. And I was trying to look back. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness. It's been a busy week. A good week, but a busy week. Playing catch up here. Okay. So, hi, Leticia, Carol, Kathy. Nancy, Mickey. Great. And I still, we still have some mail. It was, you know, May and June when our events were. And look at this is August. And we're still getting mail, you know. So, so we're always thrilled about that. So, Patricia, great. So, we'll start with some mail. This is a card from top, top of the date, Mary yeah. Boltman. Oh, and thank you guys for sharing. That's wonderful. My first Christmas card of the season. How cool is that? Mary, you are the first. Make a <laughs> joyful Christmas. Look at that. And cool inside. Lovely, lovely, simple card. I, I think that is just gorgeous. This is what you want to do when you make a bunch. And I thought, look at that. Just a state. Uh, the words on a thing and some accents. And isn't that great? Thank you, Mary. And then I have Suzanne Sandu. Maybe I shouldn't even be sitting here. Is there something for me? Uh, there'll be something there for you. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And there's some together. Ooh, what a Ooh, pretty beautiful. card with I love it. That's um lots of coloring and I'm not sure with what. I'm guessing blends. Um Beautiful card. Love the jar with flowers. Fabulous. Oh, and a nice inside. Isn't that, oh, isn't that pretty? I love it when people add. From Missouri. Yes. And, are you seeing it close enough? Oh, are you seeing these close enough? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Uh, Kathy's wondering, Tim, do you have your orange Crocs on to finish your I outfit don't. today? Oh, I don't. I know. Somebody was going to ask me that. I didn't. <laughs> Oh, Mary sandals. Lou, thanks. She says she looks forward to Thursdays at 1. That's okay. so nice. Two reasons. I'll be back I didn't okay. wash my hair. Okay, so and, that's good. <laughs> and my sister, who has white hair, is going to be on later. And she has you know, just too much white hair. So, so you know, she, he can't compete. She's got more white hair than yes. Tim. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I personally, I think he just forgot, but that's okay. Okay, this is Catherine Tell. Oh, and I forgot to say, this was Missouri. Yep. As it's so fun to get from all over the world. And the first one is from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. This one is also Wisconsin. Oh, and I love those dragonflies. Isn't that pretty? So Catherine Tell, love the dragonfly thing and uh, nice off. Oh, and these, that's kind of really interesting paper in the back. I just love the little paper piercing there. Great card, Excuse thank you. Card. Mm -hmm. card. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Holly's back home. Julie Colley, New York. Isn't this fun? Oh, cute little vases. Oh, we love this um, varied vases stamp or as, set. Or as I would say, vases. Yeah, right. It, oh, that's really pretty. Look at the fun bright colors. And this set is so fun because it's got the little shelf there. It's got all the flowers. And then this is just the punch. So that is very fun. And there's okay. a note inside. This is for us together. I always read yes. the notes later. So Yes. This is from Chris Coverston from North Carolina. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Happy 4th. Oh, happy 4th of July. So sorry nice? it's late. How fun. <laughs> I think this is the one and only. Oh, I think we, we might have gotten a couple. I would never but. think of sending 4th of July cards. I think that's great. Hi, Connie. Vanessa, it's Carol. Not even, Thanks. It's not even a month late. And some of you are thanking me for the postcards. We did send out postcards to our, to our customers from this year. And um, we loved doing that. Sat on the it ship and enjoyed doing that. It was fun. And everyone comes by and goes, what are you writing all those cards for? And Tim would tell them because he'd take his staff and you know, go out and be social. And he would tell them what they're doing. They're, oh, that's a good idea. I should have done that. So, <laughs> so it's just kind of fun. Tim, would you like to pull this up? Yes. He's being very gentle, Chris, if you're on here. Oh, is that wow. cool. A triple slider. Ah. <laughs> Kim says she likes Mary's post from 10 feet away. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Yeah, nice. 
I feel like I'm in the wrong color for... Um... And, and do you know who didn't get cards from me? So I do have to apologize. There are a few of you who were customers and then you recruited this year, which is awesome. I forgot. So I've moved you to the other list. And I forgot to print out that. So just know so that I'm just thrilled. And Karen's really going to give me the addresses. <laughs> yeah, so I'm And I'm going to go on another vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And go back and to will, Alaska and get some more cards. mail them up. Chris, okay. thank you for that. That is wonderful. Oh, this is just stunning. But just know you are so appreciated. And I, I have to think about that next year. So I said, you know, I, I'm working through all this stuff. Oh, look how fun that is. Oh, this is definitely a card that we will be doing in an upcoming card class for sure. Chris, that is, and we will that use is very it, fun. We'll use it as an example unless Karen wears it out. Okay, and here is one from Minnesota. <laughs> so somewhere in our backyard. Oh, look at that. I love the little cat cat tag video. I'll read that. But oh, I love. Look, another simple, sweet card. Look at that. A strip, and then you can do three punches. I still love this punch. This did this one retire or we just still have them? I don't remember. We've got a new flower punch, but think of any punches. Isn't that really a Mary cute style? Mary said that we had it. Okay, and, she and I love the black and she then the pink. She didn't put that in her in a comments. She actually said it out loud. <laughs> Connie says that, Tim, you're in the right color. It's Texas Longhorn Burnt Orange. Yes. Whoa, there all right. Go. So he knows those. <laughs> there you go. Oh, love that. That is great. And one more for Tim. And this is from Jane Beck in Illinois. Normal. Normal, in normal Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? So, hi Tim, name this song. Jane, <laughs> name the this song. I think I All know. right, go. Who, who knows the song? <laughs> it was an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. Oh, Tim, Sherry is saying that she loved getting a phone call from you the other day. So, oh, good. Isn't that great? Because Tim is the we're, new, we're my new customer. Oh, but I'm distracting. But it's but, yeah, kind of okay. <laughs> this, was, this was a great song when I was a kid. Thank you. And I don't have much memory for songs, but I remember that song. So, did you know who <laughs> sang it and who wrote it? Um, I did it one time, but I don't. Okay. <laughs> Brian Highland. Brian Highland. Oh, okay. My sister knows. Brian, oh, Brian Highland. Oh, right. Oh, look. That's I think, fabulous. What I think a fun Brian part. Highland had a one hit wonder. So, I don't and think you know, he was known for anything else. Cards like that that refer to something background, they're always just fun to get. It's fun retro cards. So, that's great. Oh, a whole bunch of you remembering this song. And that is that <laughs> all people that are older like us, or are there any people under 40 here that know that song? Just, have, just, just curious. So pipe anyone? in if you do. Karen? If you know, if you, if you, if you, yeah. Do we have anyone under there, 40? Oh, uh, they're probably. Oh no, there are. They're probably at work. <laughs> I have a friend from Starbucks whose nieces from California, New Jersey, watch us. Okay, so and I'm sure there's some, but we don't 20s. know if you know that song. So it's a double thing. <laughs> you watching is. us and need to know that song. The first um, under 40 that n knows that song. Do you want to send them a card, Tim? I would love to. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll try to remember that, but, you know, no guarantees. So, all right. Or I'll call them and sing them the whole song. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Tim. Probably not. All right. Okay. Are you going to do anything It's fun to have this? a trivia card. Uh, oh, the winner of this stamp set from the last Facebook Live, and I'll also put it in the sh show notes or some happiest of days, was um, Dixie Ringham. So, if you're on here today... Oh, Rena, she's in her 30s and she knows that song. Okay, Sweet. Rena, message us and say, Tim yes. is sending me a card. Yes. That'll be our best way. And then put your address on that. Oh, but you know, Karen, I get behind. I haven't sent those bird on the wire ones either. I've got to do that. They're not hard to make. It's just hard to look up and see who they yeah. were supposed to go to. So so that, if it was you. <laughs> tell us there's two people that, that got the Leonard Cohen. Tell us this time and we'll write it down. So if you're on here and you're the one that knew Leonard Cohen, and I don't want to see three or four responses because there was only two. Mary Ellen can sing the whole song. Now, if we could hear everyone, we could turn this we into a sing-along. But <laughs> So we're going to write down the bird on the wire. Okay. Just and wait. The, oh. But Can't do two things at once, you know? Yeah, I can. The person that's going to get the card for the... Is Brina. Okay. B R E I N A, but 
just spell enough so you remember. Then okay. we'll look at it. Okay, that's okay. great. <laughs> we digress. Okay, this week's um, uh, giveaway. Remember, you have a week to. This week is going to be for sharing. This week is going to be for someone who shares the video. I keep going back and forth, you know, between com just commenting or sharing. But I love this balloon builders. It is party time, and it just makes adorable cards. The party animal. You got the world on a string. This is that a song? Yes. Okay. Listen. Love is in the air. Okay, I, I can't think that either. So someone can think of that song I've now got that we're the on world trivia. On a string. <laughs> yes. Sitting on a rainbow. Yes. yes. Sitting on a. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have to think about that. So. <laughs> Fabulous, but those are really cute. So I will announce the winner of that, and then this goes the to Dixie Ringham. I think that was from the All 40s. right, we are ready. Okay, so am I going to move? You, you're done now, okay. for now, yeah. For now, yeah. I am coming back. For now, back. you'll be back. I'm going to make a card today. And this is a, a, a note for you. Oh, we have several things to talk about today, so this is so fun. The, today starts bonus days. So this is the first little sheet. If you spend $50... For every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon to be used in September. So if you think about that, if you place a $150 order, you get three $5 coupons, so that's $15, in addition to the $15 free hostess goodies. So this is a good month to do that, if, if you're interested, because um, you get 30 free, basically, with the $150 order. That is awesome. The main thing I wanna tell you, when you do that, you get an email from Stampin' Up! with your code, and you won't get it a second time, so you want to look for it. I actually take yeah. those, and I copy, and I paste them into a little document, So, because, you know, I'm going to have way more than one. So they're all together, so then I can just copy and paste when I... Look how many people are sharing. Oh, my goodness, we're thrilled. That's so wonderful. Kathy remembers bonus days from last year. Yeah, so fun. I just want to make sure you don't lose anything. And demonstrators get to do this too. So I said, it's just, it is an awesome deal. So now we're down to, okay, then what should I buy this month? Well, see, I can help you with that too. Because we have this amazing new bundle, which is only available this month. You can also get the watercolor pencils. So the bundle itself, I'm going to show you. These are the these stamps. I love the styling of the words. And I'm going to show you a bunch of ideas today. And I, I want to tell you when I looked at that, the stamp I loved the most was the leaves because I love autumn and I love anything to do with leaves. I didn't make a single card with that because I get going on a roll and I just can't even move on. So I'm going to have to come back and show more later. But you will have a ton of ideas for what to do with this after today's show. <laughs> and um, then... Um, and okay, so if you get this, oh, and then the, these are amazing, the, the dies, and look at these three, I'm going to be using those. These are just lovely, this whole die thing, so you can buy them separately or together. The weird thing about all this is that her whole talk is scripted, and it's on a teleprompter. Yeah, and I can't do any better than this. <laughs> Not. Um, okay, yeah. And in addition, if you place a $50 order for for me, you always get a card kit, and this month the card kit is using the same kit, and I would like to show one of the cards. So you get three cards, they're all different, that are just using the framelits, the thinlets that you can see, that you are going to complete. I'll put that up close. But isn't that pretty? And that could be for so many purposes. So you get three cards that you will put together, and then one completed card, but using the stamp set. So that's four more ideas that you can easily do, but I just think this is really, Really a lovely card and, and easy to do. So did you show everything that comes with the blended season? Yes, I, I showed the things. The other thing okay. I wanted to mention about this is I love the script in these two. So that's pretty fun. So I'm going to set that aside and we will stamp. Did you want to talk about the pencils? No, because I'm going to show them. Okay. The pencils are actually an add-on. They Oh, they might, when I, I think that means they will be in the new catalog, but the Thinlets and the stamp set will never be available again. So you won't be able to get them. And they're only available while supplies last. And the deal with that is, you know, Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps. So they're not likely to run out of stamps. They can do more about that. But the Thinlets would have already been ordered. So I don't know what their guess is. But you don't want to wait on this. This is something that you're really going to want now. And just to know that you'll never, never get in those framelits you will use for everything. So now we're going to put it down and we are going to stamp. Tim's actually going to make the first actual card that we're making, but I wanted to just show, 
you don't always need to go to a lot of work. I just think this is a really pretty easy card. I just randomly stamped. No, colored in, no coloring in. All I'm going to do is add, add some words across here. And this would be pretty on, you know, pink, gray. Oh, you know what? I'd like that a little lower. We'll see. Do you guys do this? Sure. And if I need to add a little more, yeah. It just looks more balanced that way. But it's not a fun card. Now, I could go add some, you know, glitter, glimmer, but I just want to show how simple. You don't always have to go to a lot of work to make some cards. Okay, and Tim is up. I am up. Oh, no, he's not. i got to show something else first. <laughs> We were talking about these thinlets. I want okay, to show you what's cool about them. Let's see if there's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of disappointment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sad faces. Oh, sad faces, yes. Yes. So look at these. These are the three. and they, So they come through like this. And notice how they're stitching on both sides. It just makes it really cool. Now, this one's more taken apart. So if I want to use this as a frame, let me see I have the double stitch there. If I want to use the outside, I have the stitching on there. That's oh, just there really is a sad cool. Face. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so how cool is oh, that? Oh, more. <laughs> okay, now it's Tim's turn. Ready? Oh, that was quick. They probably didn't even know what they were doing because I was distracting them. <laughs> we'll see if Tim can pull this one off. Yeah. Again, Karen just kind of tells me what is going to be generally. I didn't do it. I she didn't do it. You kind of do this, and then you kind of do that. And... I like these magnets. They are just tough as tough as nails. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's see. This is going to be, you're going to have to imagine because this is upside down. Okay? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. <laughs> this is going to be. It still isn't. Should we tell them or should we just let them be surprised? Okay, this isn't either. Okay. <laughs> I can't do it that way. I can't do it that way. I'm going to have to do it. Backwards, upside down. I probably should have paid more closer attention to what Karen was saying. But it's, it's not straight either. But that's okay. Right? Anyone would still love to get your card. Okay. I know. Oh, I know. It. Okay. So let's do this. <gasps> Look at that. Is that slick or what? Okay. Now we're going to ink it. And let me get another ink pad to put under that. She doesn't think that my hand is good enough. Now this is really one of the nicest things about... What do they call this again? Stamparatus. Stamparatus. Here, and that'll Look at... Oh, it. there is parts of it that need more ink on it. Yeah, like that flower like, doesn't have a center. Oh my goodness, I better do some more. Maybe it does have a center, maybe it's just because of... This is so fun. Is that good enough? It is, I don't think it he is. needs 10 more times just to okay. get camera time. But. So, what we're gonna have now is some um, Man, these are strong. We're going to pop this up. There you go. Okay, thank you, my dear. Karen's my assistant. Or is it the other way around? Since I did retire from Starbucks, I'm a full-time employee of Karen's. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping for 20 hours a week, you guys. <laughs> okay, should I put some little ones in the middle? Maybe that's too much. Okay, now this is the fun part, getting these off. Oh, this is working. This is uh, my letter opener that I've had since, I think 1967, 68, and that's why I'm having troubles. Okay, are my doing okay, Karen? Mm-hmm. Dad. They're not saying, let's move on. <laughs> Where's this going? Oh, they're just watching you. 
Okay. Well, Nancy just put, oh, he'll figure it out in a second. I don't know where that was. I thought, yes. Okay, <laughs> now, this is actually going to be an in-between step because it's, up, it's, it's, not, it's not upside down for, for you. It is for you, but not for me because I got to know what I'm doing. When I make, made phone calls, somebody said that they really liked my pounding, which was really nice. Okay, here it is with the stain down here. Yeah. This is the beginning. We'll and add some words, and it's a yeah, nice gonna, black and white card. We're going to add, add words, words and later. color, but Karen says... No, not color. Just You're just going to add words to that. We're not adding we'll color? No. What, what if I want to? Well, you can color it if you want okay. to. But black and white is a stunning look. And this is true minimalism because it's just showing a little part Man. of the stamp, you know? So. What in the world do they put in the You're not supposed things? to put them together. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tim. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, what you all have to put up with. So I'm going to take that same idea now and build on it. So you want to keep this? Nope, no, nope, I'm good. So he showed how to do that first part. And that is just a really cool technique. Um, oh, I'm trying to think of what sometimes it's called, triple stamping. It's another one we've been doing for years. So here, I've done the very same thing that he's done. Just put a little more um, color on here. And... I'm going to add words, so I'll just take a photo and it'll, it will be up in my thing. But do you see how this is the very same thing? And then this is colored in with the blends. And I love how it kind of goes in the back. It makes your back card look quite pretty. I was going to, if there was time, I was actually going to put words on here today. But we might just imagine that because I can just put them up in the blog, okay? <laughs> Barbara says, Tim, you could never have too many dimensional, so I'll just keep going, okay? Now, here's another idea. I can't have too many what? Dimensional. So oh, see, you couldn't just go ahead. Here on this one, I'm coloring also the blacks. I wanted to make sure to show you how I did this coloring. And I am using Flaming 30 Flamingo. This is one of the new colors. And in the new catalog, there are more new colors. I'm, I'm putting, uh, I don't know if I'll even remember how you did that. That's not how I did it. So see, we'll just go this way. So what I did was to outline with my darkest color. And if you're wondering about the new catalog, I'll be putting a link on so you can order it. If you're a customer of mine, you will get one automatically. You're already on my list. If you're not, there will be a link to go request it. I'm going to go around and do all of this. And the reason I wanted to show the other cards first was that I always want you to realize you do not need to color just because you have an outline stamp. But now we're gonna do some different things with coloring. Okay, so I mostly on the blender pens using the little pen tip because I like to do little circles. So see, now I'm gonna go around, I'm just gonna do little circles around this to kinda, and the longer I worked at blending it, the more it will be blended. I'm not caring about this, I don't, because I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I, li I like all of the different looks you can do with this. So it doesn't even matter. But you can see I'm just sort of blending all that in. And I'm leaving little bits here and there. Okay. And then I took the light pink pirouette. Here, I'm taking the bigger one. I'm just going over the whole thing just to blend in a little more and to add a, little, a third little color and just to kind of mix more. Okay, so see how that was done? And then basically, the green was all done the same. I have my dark. Aren't you glad I'm not going to make you watch me do this whole thing? I was like, just a little bit. So if you haven't done the blends before, because they she, are because wonderful. she's going to have me come back and do it. Yeah, because <laughs> we'll all watch too. <laughs> I don't think I will ask him to do like 20 cards like this. No, okay? All right. Okay, so here are the choices. And now I will post, actually I'll post on here. Oh, I needed to take this pink a little further, didn't I? Oh, but I won't even watch it. You see, I'm gonna pop this up, but I am going to go ahead and put words on and I want to use the Stamparatus. And I'm not gonna send your time, because it's, it's gonna be done the same way Tim does it. So look at these different variations from and they will all look good. I'll put them all up later today, just on the Facebook page, if you wanna see them finished. But I think that is a really cool look. And then I wanted to show one other quick thing that 
is something else you can do with blends. Did you know that you could take blends and they work on colored paper too? So on this, I just took the leaf stamp and I wanted it to be a little lighter. So I'm actually taking the pineapple, which is just not, it's lighter than this. So it's not gonna look like pineapple, but it still lightens the paper. So this is really just a tone on tone. And I thought this would be fun to do with all kinds of different colors. Just putting a little of that on and then a little bit of the dark. So I'm doing that instead of the dark and light. This is Granny Apple, which I absolutely love. But instead of, and I'm just gonna put this down. I guess I did them differently, a little different ways. But when this dries, the lighter color just shows up more. When I was using, at first I did it with just the lighter color of this and you really didn't see much difference. So this is just kind of fun. This is just the lighter color again. Mess that up, but okay, that, that's just an idea. This, this will dry and look more like that. And then because it was the pineapple punch, you can see that that goes because it's still got that little bit of color. So I think it's pretty fun. Someone's asking about the pinks that I used. I used the, the uh, Flirty Flamingo, the dark and the light, and then the Pink Pirouette, the light, just to smooth over it. And I also used the two Granny Grace. Granny Apple. Those are all new, newer ones in the catalog, and I just think they are just pretty color, and I think that's... Right now, we're going to have a commercial break, and then I have way more to show you. Way okay, more. and we have a commercial break because... Yeah, Granny Apples are good, too, for pie, because Tim's sister Mary is here. Some of you know her. Some of you don't. So Mary can pop over, and I just want her to introduce herself and tell you what she is doing. Okay, just... That's all the time I get. <laughs> you can have, Mary, you can have as much time as you want. You're my sister. Oh, thank you, Tim. So do they both like to talk? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, yes, of course. course. This is the time is straight. People are saying hi, Mary. Hi, everybody. Yes, Tim's favorite sister right here. That's right. My name is Mary Burks, and I also have a Stampin' um, a Facebook page. Mary B's Stampin' page, and that's you'll find that on Facebook really easily, so find that and join the show on Monday. Monday, I, I always do this on Monday at 4 o'clock Pacific time. I don't really know what that is in any other time zone, so you'll all have to figure it out, but 4 o'clock Pacific time on Monday afternoons, and I'll be back. I've taken two Mondays off because I've been here and enjoying visiting friends and everybody and family, and it's been good. So when I'm in Minneapolis, what I like to do is go to Ingebrigtsen's. Ingebrigtsen's is the Norwegian store in town. So when I go to Ingebrigtsen's, I get things like... It's a historic place. It's been there forever. Yeah. Oh, I need that. Yeah, I need that turned up. So look what I have. So exciting. I have Lefsa, and I have Herring, and I have Licorice. And this is Tim's licorice. That's Tim's licorice. This is my favorite thing about being a Norwegian. Yes, but he loves licorice, and I do too. And I love herring, and I love lefse. Yeah. And if you all don't know what that is, maybe you can Google it. <laughs> I don't know. But this looks like a tortilla. It's made out of basically potatoes and flour. And then you fry it on a griddle to get these nice golden marks. Herring is fish that's been like a pickled herring, like vinegar and peppers and that kind of thing, and onions. So it's all good. I'll eat that when I get done talking. If it's left. If it's left. If it's left. So the other thing I found at the at Ingebrigtsen's at the Norwegian store were rubber stamps with Norwegian words on it. Manga talk simply means many thanks. Ufta, well, ufta is one of those words you can use for a lot of things. Um, oh, ufta, I dropped the, the egg on the floor. Ufta... I tripped over the crack in the sidewalk and fell down. That would probably be more than an oofda. And then talk for cyst. That's thank you for the last time we saw each other. So this would be a good one that I'll use the next time I go to Norway and the next time I come back and I will send them all a thank you card and I will say talk for cyst. So that's what I found at Ingebrigtsen's. Now I'll come back to Stampin' Up right here and right now. Um, here's a card I made recently and I just want to show you this. The stamp set is 
is right here. It's called Healing Hugs, and it has um, the Get Well Soon, sending you um, healing vibes, wishing you a quick and um, complete recovery. So it's got some great words, and we always know people that are under the weather and need a little pick-me-up. So this is the card that I made with this Put set. This way? This way? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Perfect. And this is not, does not have a thinlet with it, but it's a pretty easy fussy cut. So the leaves and the flower, or the rose, are just easy to cut out. And then it also has, what I think is exciting, is this new folder. And you can't see it because... It's called the Subtles folder. So, and it's very subtle, this um, pattern that's on here. It's just a real subtle design. But it looks, it does add when you're looking up close to it, you know. And then I could stamp right on that. It didn't matter if I um, um, stamped before I put it through the folder or not. And then there's this petal pink um, silver twine that goes perfectly with this. And then I did put something on the inside, wishing you a quick and, and complete recovery. And then I put just a little design down there. It's pretty light, so it really is hard to show up. But anyway, so this is a great set. And Monday on my live, I will be showing you many more of this uh, set. Here's another one with this same set. Um, this Hugs and Kisses is not from here. This was... Um, one of Karen's crews, um, Rhoda McPherson did this. So this is one of the ones that she got on the cruise in a swap. And then there's one more that was in Karen's stash when she came home. Again, sending well wishes your way. And I know. And this is with Angie, Ange McKay. So anyway, so there's just a little bit of a hint of what this, some of the cards with this stamp set will do. So I'm going to show you more of those next Monday. Remember, um, Mary B's Stampin' Page. Thank you. Okay. Back to Karen. Okay. One thing I love about what Mary shared was just that idea, if you have a heritage, you know, she goes to Norway, she's been there four times. We, they have lots of relatives there and people to stay. So how fun to give something, you know, appropriate like that, or even someone here that speaks a language. So if you have a language or know a language or friends and Stampin' Up! doesn't sell that, you know, you can still get that and still use the other, you know, it's just kind of fun to personalize things. All right. Where did her, um, oh. We... Okay. Now I'm going to finish. I just have a couple, couple more to share with you. She thought I took her plate and ate it all by Oh, oh, so it was like, oh, a little freak alarm here. So she mentioned fussy cutting, and now I'm going to do a little fussy cutting. I told you I couldn't get past these flowers, so, okay, we'll bring that down. And I will post the link to Mary's page, and on her page, she will have her host code. And by the way, I have a new host code. I will put it on the link. It's on my website, KarenTitus.com, but I forgot to print out a thing. So I'll just put it on the show notes right when this is over, you know, at the top. It'll have these things. One thing I wanted to mention, I've talked about this many times in the past, but then we forget, you know, until you see an idea, it's not obvious. When you are fussy cutting, what you really want to do is move the paper way more than the scissors Whoa. to see how easy. Ooh, this is one I should have, should have had Tim show. But just see how this is? And I actually... Love to fussy cut. You know, if the TV's on or I want to sit outside and have a break, I mean, this is just a great thing to do. So I am one of those people that does not mind fussy cutting. I'm not going to sit at the table like this and fussy cut. Or I'm going to go get comfortable and fussy I'm cut. Or talking at length about something that she doesn't care about. Yeah, so then, you know, I'll just have something to fussy cut right by mm -hmm. my thing there. Okay, so I wanted to point this out when it comes to fussy cutting. Because these next couple of cards, and I think they are... I'm almost my, my last here, are going to be fussy cut. So I'm going to show you again. Now we're using the watercolor pencils because these are, you know, the other new thing that you can get. And I used only colors that came in that. Now I could use blender pens or, yeah, I love it if you all go watch Mary. It's really fun to be, and it's fun to be doing this together. You know, we are sisters-in-law, and now we get to, we go to convention and do all this stuff together. So it's very fun. I wouldn't recommend black Sharpies. 
in this. For what? <laughs> so that. I, I don't know what Tim is saying, but okay. Just, <laughs> I should just ignore him. You yeah. know, I do that at home. I don't know why I can't. <laughs> okay. So when I'm going to use these, there's no end of the way you use these either. So I'm just showing you one way. How I did these flowers is I just went around and lightly did little circles because I'm just filling it all in with one of the blues in the new set. And of course, these will be combined with everything that came in the original set. So it's to multiple, but I thought I was just gonna show you because I love this and then this bright green. I just think they're really fun. So you can watch me do one flower. The other thing that I do, if I'm going to play with something like this, uh, and I, I did two or, or three, I don't remember. I think I might've just done two, this will be the third. I like to do several, so then you can try different things with them. So you'll see that in a moment. Can I you... might be making you dizzy because this is an old library table that's been in my family and it's not very sturdy. I'm shaking the table as that goes. Okay, now I have this darker blue that's almost more like a purpley blue. And I'm going to do all of those lines and the edges, kind of like I did with the blender pen. And then on the bottom, I just want to add my deeper color down here. Now I'm going to take my blender pen. And I did the same thing with, the, these are the two new greens in here. I'm not gonna show that because it's all the same. But do you see now this has been watercolored with the aqua painter. If I'm doing smaller areas, I use the blender pen. If I'm doing uh, larger areas, I like doing the water. And I do wanna point out, this is shimmery white paper. Shimmery white paper and watercolor papers are the best to use with this. And for this, I also use stays on ink. This is the only time I use stays on ink is when I'm going to add water. The other ones where I did the blends back here, this was stamped in Memento. Those are your two basic black inks. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I wanna make sure I get water in it so it's wet, but I don't want it very wet so that I'm gonna get it nice and you know, fairly dry there. I'm going to start at the tips and just kind of bring it down into, down into my color. So I just see I'm just going around to just mix it enough to kind of turn it into a watercolor. Okay. I, Look how simple that is. I should be talking. And it's, there's a lot of dead air. Oh, it's just too much dead air. Okay. Okay. And, okay. and, and if and if we miss a little, little part, then Tim will, Mister Fix It Man, you know. <laughs> I love these two blues in here too. So, so now I'm just going to show you. I cut out two, two of these, and I'm going to show you some possibilities for putting them together here. There's endless possibilities. Endless possibilities because just, you know we have all these different things. Two. So. Look at that lovely stitching. So here I've just taken the green. So I could do this and I will complete a couple of these and put on later today too. And then this can go here and I can put my words up here. So how cool so, is that? So nice. Or I could do, and then, you know, I have this lovely inside I could do something with too. So, you know, I have all these pieces to do something with. Co cover up the words in case you made a mistake. Yes, or I could do this one and Put it on here so you just start seeing possibilities and put the words on here so you know you can just keep on doing um yeah i will show this because i'm gonna show one more thing and then i'll just mention the special again and remember you also get the four card kits from the four cards from me so i said lots of ideas but aren't these just stunning for anything they are and you could even for anyone who loves to color this is great but as we showed you you don't have to color yes you could go underneath like this yes you can absolutely do that you can have them peeking part way yes you know you get to play, and maybe i give one of these to Tim to create one. But, And then I want to show you one last idea. Here's basically the same thing, but this time I did the uh, reds that came also in this, in this batch. So I'm just using whatever colors are in here. And I just thought this made a fun, different background. Uh, the other thing I just want to mention, you know these dyes? You're going to want these forever. You don't have to have these flowers. Isn't that just lovely, though? You know, just, and, you know, we won't have those again. But I think this is another fun, here I've taken, oh, I, bet, I better use it that way because I guess I smudged it somehow on here. So I've taken um, 
a sheet of paper, so I'll get two, because I just cut it down the long way like that. So I'm going to put this on. And there is a top and, and a bottom. cover that up. Oh, I actually am doing the whole part. I'm not even, let's see, I have to figure out what, what I was thinking back when I cut this, you know? That shows you how variations are, because you can kind of just keep filling in. So to see how I have the real black and white, I love that combination. I'm going to put this right along here. And I thought, that's really fun to have a black part down there and white. I can add words, but I don't need to. And I will pop this one up. So just another idea with this. So this is an amazing bundle. And remember, if you buy it, it is $64.75 for a stamp satin bundle if you get the clear, since most people get that. It also comes in wood. You can add the watercolor pencils for $12.50. If you choose to add more, you can do that. And, you know, it's $5 coupon for every extra, for every $50 you spend. You, and you really will want these. And then remember the cards. I was going to show you the card again in the kit. And remember, you can do things as basic. Oh, here are two more cards. Look at how simple this one is. These are some swap cards. This was Julie Davison. And look, that's just stamped in there in a soft color and then in black over it. I think this is a really great saying and it's a fun script and fun to have a long one like that. How do they do that? Those little dots. Oh, see? Well, that's another technique we can do. And then I have one with the leaves. I told you I was going to do the leaves. And this has some <laughs> Wink of Stella on it. See, I didn't even cover the leaves. But look at this. How cool is this? You get leaves in the die cuts. You get these are in the thinlets for this. And one of the cute cards you get in the bundle for me uses this. And then here, this is watercolored in like that. And see, these flowers could be stamped right on there, too. So it, I guess I'd use the larger one if I didn't want it to go off the edge. But aren't these fun? So you're going to tell us what those little dots are? Oh, it's an embossing folder. But, okay. you know, you know, Tim's really gotten into techniques, hasn't yes. he? So um, I was going to reshow the card to get in the kit, but, you know, it's, it's on there. It was in my newsletter today. <laughs> but you get three cards that you complete and then one that's completed and um, cluttered the stamp set. So that is a really cool thing. So that is the special, and remember, if you order anything, keep your the email you get from Stampin' Up. Uh, registration is just opening today for my next online class. I have a different one every month, and it starts not next Monday, but the following, so we have a little time here, but it's gonna be all about shadow box cards, all different styles, uh, and, and so this is just one. So if you're wondering what they are, this is just one of the kind of cards. But we do a couple of different cards each week for three weeks, and then people share what they make out of these um, templates that I provide. You get the PDFs forever, the videos forever, and we're on live on Monday night, so this, you can chat with people. And this is the gift for sharing. Is there anything else that's important? If you're wanting the new catalog, watch. There will be a link for that. <laughs> Catherine's asking if Tim makes cards. Did you see him today? He makes... I make cards. He makes cards, but only when the camera's on him. He doesn't sit and stamp. That's true. I and know. I get more comments from women saying, oh, I wish my husband would stamp with me. And I write back. I don't. I just have to tell you, Tim doesn't stamp with me. <laughs> he only performs for the I'm camera. I'm too busy but serving her <laughs> tea, <laughs> cookies. Yeah. Oh, and thanks for all of you who shared. That was wonderful. You have a whole week. You have till next week at this time when I will announce this winner. Please message me with any questions. I love to hear from you. And we are so glad to have and you in our life. Welcome to August. And you know what August means in Minnesota? Minnesota State Fair. Yeah. Yeah. So so much fun. Yes. So if he's going to go on a Thursday, we'll miss him, I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> he goes no, as I many times as he can. I, so, <laughs> um, I think that is it. I will not go on a Thursday. <laughs> we appreciate all of you, and we love to have you join us and laugh with us. So it's, it's just all good. And, you know, if this is your birthday month, August... Yes. Message me. If you are in my customer group, you will automatically get a birthday card from me if you signed up for the birthday card list because we send cards to each other. And then people have been posting. They'll get several cards, which is really fun. But if you're not and would like a card from me, just message me and say, I'd like a birthday card. And our daughter in Chicago so. that probably won't get a Christmas a birthday card from us has a August birthday. But you will. <laughs> so that's, that's just not fair. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks, everyone. And we will... See you on Monday. Bye -bye. Have a good weekend.
bye bye